G'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How, and in this video, we're gonna be talking all about nutserts. Before we do, a big welcome back to the subscribers of the channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. If you're new here and you find this video helpful, consider subscribing. You can do that in the bottom corner here. That really helps support the channel, and check out some of the other videos while you're here. So what are they? What are nutserts? Effectively, they are a, uh, an attachment, a threaded insert that you can insert and attach to any flat surface. Now that might be steel, it might be alloy, it probably could even be plastic. It's, it's pretty much anything as long as it's a flat surface. Now he, here's something I prepared earlier and we're going to do a bit of a demo on this uh, in a sec so you can see from both sides. Uh, what actually happens when you install a nutset. Now here's what one of them actually looks like. This is quite a large one, this is an M12, but as you can see, uh, they're a, a little casing, if you like. They have some grooves in the top section here, and what that helps uh, the nutset do is to, is to grip whatever hole it's gone through. And then it has a crushable section at the end here, and essentially what you are doing is that is going to go into the hole there the tool then crushes this whole component flat against itself and that's what grips the surface that you then can insert a uh, bolt through the top here they're super handy they're easy to use and when you have the right tool like one of these guys here and we're going to run through that in a second essentially any time that you have a flat surface that you are wanting to screw a bolt into, a nutser is the way to go. So how to use and install? There are a couple of different ways. There's two main ways, and we're gonna be covering both of those. In this video, we're gonna be installing using the, the proper method, using an actual tool. Now, if you don't have a tool, that is okay. You can still get away with installing one of these bad boys using a nut, a bolt, and a couple of washers. And I cover that in a separate video that is specific just to that method. You can find that up in the corner here, and if you click through, it'll take you to that video. All right, so how to install. First things first is you need a flat surface. It's really important that the surface you are installing this into is flat. The main reason for that is it needs to mate into the shoulder of the nut cert. Uh, nice and flush as you can see there. You can imagine if this plate was either really rough or curved You're not really going to get that nice uh, Mating point in to the nut set itself as you can see there So step one is make sure you've got a flat surface Step two is once you've got the spot that you want to install the nut set into is Choose the actual bolt itself first. The reason for that is you'll notice that the actual bolt size and the, the hole size are different. So you don't want to install one of these guys and then realize, bugger, I don't have a bolt that will actually fit into it. Now I recommend jumping on eBay or Amazon or the like and getting an actual tool itself. You can find them on there for cheap as chips. They really are pretty inexpensive as a tool goes. This one here came with uh, everything from an M3 all the way up to an M12. So that gives you lots of flexibility in what size nut certs you're going to be installing for what size bolts. Also, while you're on there, get yourself uh, a box with a gazillion different types of nut certs in there. It's handy as to have, as you can see, it has heaps of different nut certs and I'm effectively never really gonna run out and I can be guaranteed there's gonna be one to suit the application. So once you've chosen your bolt size that you're gonna be using for the application, the next step is to get a nut set that will fit the hole. Once you've done that, it's a matter of actually drilling the hole to suit the nut set itself. Now some of them will be labeled, other times you'll just need to get some calipers and to actually measure the size of the nut set itself. Make sure you measure around the top because some of them are tapered a little bit. So this guy here, for example, uh, we would need a uh, 12 mil hole, as you can see, uh, see in there. I've already pre-drilled these holes. 
and I've just got a couple of different versions here so I can show you uh, how it works with the tool. So this is one of the versions of the tools you can get. I definitely recommend getting a long handled version. Sometimes you can get these as, as, a, as a gun or with really short handles. The problem with that is this whole thing is based on leverage. So as you can see, the bigger the handle, um, the more leverage you're gonna be able to get when you are squeezing the nut set into the flat surface. How this guy works is we have a collar up the top here and different sized dies, which are these ones here. So you wanna pick the size die to suit your application. We're gonna do the guy in the middle here. You wanna confirm that the nut set that you have chosen fits the hole. So you wanna make sure that that fits in there. You don't want them to be too loose. If they're crazy loose, it's not gonna work. So a little bit of play is okay, because what we're gonna be doing is effectively squishing this section here down and it will jam onto um, our bit of alloy here. So once you confirm that your hole is good to go and nice and cleaned up, the next step is getting the right size die. Now this one is an M8 uh, and you wanna get your die out. There'll be a couple of different bits in here. There's the locking nut here, which looks a little bit like that. And then you've got your actual die itself. So you wanna install it into the tool these might be slightly different depending on your tool, but for mine, if we hold that here and with your finger here pull down, it is this little collar up the top. With the short end then to the tool, to the die, sorry, you wanna screw that in just like this and screw it all the way down. And it locks into place with this collar here. So if I get that right, the collar will pop up. And what that does is then doesn't allow it to move around and it's locked into place. Now once you've got your die installed and the collar locked down, you wanna take your locking nut here. And what that does with the uh, thread side down, it screws over the top just like this and screws into the top of the, the collar here of the tool. And what that does is just keeps that nice and solid. Once you've got that in there, Grab your nut set of choice and you wanna just screw that all the way down until it's tied against the locking nut and you are good to go. Confirm that there's not too much wiggle room otherwise you might have to go up a size. You wanna open its jaws all the way out and you can see how we now have a gap. You wanna then screw this all the way down so that if you go to pull on the tool, you'll feel some resistance. Now don't squeeze it just yet. Then you wanna insert it into your hole, making sure that the mating surface and that shoulder is nice and flush. Then you wanna start squeezing together while pressing down towards the surface. And as you can see, it will start crushing the nuts out onto the surface. And what you should have at that point is this bead that runs around the inside of your surface. And that means that it is squished down and it should be nice and tight. And from there, that's what this little handily turny thing here at the end is. That's the official uh, word for it in the instructions anyway. And what that will do is just release the tool from the nuts out itself. So you just basically screw it out. Just like that. The tool's out. So you can pop that to the side. And then you should have it looking a little bit like this. So you can see that the nutsert is nice and flush. On one side, the outer side, this would be the outside of whatever you're putting the nutsert into. It's nice and flush and solid against the surface itself. From there, it's just a matter of grabbing your bolt and it should, if we've done this right, screw in just like that. Now you, you should be able to just torque this uh, right down. The nut cert won't go anywhere if you have done this correctly. It will go through the whole nut cert just like that. So on one side, it will protrude from, depending on the length of your, your bolt, of course, uh, but it will come through. You want to at least go that full distance of the nut cert itself. And on the top, it's just like any other regular bolt that's screwed into a screw hole. It's as simple as that. And you can really talk down on these, uh, like I was saying. So there you go, guys pretty straightforward really, but that gives you a bit of an idea of what nut sets are 
how to use them and how to install them uh, using the correct tool. If you don't have one of these tools, uh, it might be on the way or you just really need to get the job done. There is another way you can do this without the tool itself. Um, check up in the top here uh, on the channel. I've made a video on exactly how to do that. It goes through the, the absolute specifics on that. So head on over there if you need to. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give a thumbs up in the section below. Leave a comment. Let me know what type of project that you use your nutserts for. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're keen to support, that is the best way that you can other than beer money and all of the above, of course. Hit the button just here and you are subscribed. Simple as that. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.